Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yuleno TV. I hope you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. So I want to start this uh, analysis in a very unique way by first of all celebrating Okiom Tata's birthday which is today, the 30th November 2023. So Omtata should be a national hero after winning round one of the housing levy battle. I think he's turned 59 years old, you know, going by the birth, the date of birth that is 1964. So happy birthday to Okia Omtata. Now let's get to our analysis of the day. In fact, this is our first analysis. And I want us to go straight to what is trending. Last week, I shared a video of Junet Muhammad on Yoleno TikTok account. And to my TikTok followers, I hope you've been seeing the video. It's trending and I think by now it's around 160k views. So in the video, Junet castigated the government for failing Kenyans on neck examinations. So because there was numerous controversies behind how exams were marked, and people were shocked at how quick the government released results. It was before the secondary students could wind up on their examination. So NEC released the ones for the primary exams. So what has it that one of the pupils who sat for exams had her results revised by NEC from 359 Four, nine. As members of the Committee of Education, we have invited the CS to be to come before this committee and brief us exactly the cause of the errors, the cause of the myriad of mistakes, the case, the, the, why we had our, our school having almost the same marks, and why some students who scored 75, one is 75A, another one 75 of B minus. Those are the questions we want to ask, and is actually appearing before this committee. And this to me, is a, one of the biggest embarrassments to William Bruto because this can only mean one thing. Junette was right. Because if you listen to the video by Junette, he is saying that this government can hardly get uh, things right. It... <laughs> Na yule maxi ya juu amepewa maxi ya chini. Kuna mtu amepewa max ambaye si yake. Simuliona? Hiyo inamaanisha hii serikali imeshindwa na ka? But the question is why was there a rush to release results which were erroneous? Stakeholders argue hurried marking and release of exam results is responsible for the discrepancies in exams in recent years. Exams must be moderated. And after marking, there is always a seminar yes. of examiners and chief examiners, and is a carefully done process. So the governors have also voiced their concern on this issue. It asked NEC to resolve the KCPE controversy. So I maintain that this is an embarrassment to the government. The news that we have, ladies and gentlemen, is that Prince Shalimba, a 13-year-old KCP candidate from Ileo village in Shinyalu constituency, Kakamega County, experienced a relief when the Kenya National Examination Council revised her exams from 359 to 409. Prudence, a former student of Makongo Hope Academy, was initially shocked to receive a lower score than expected, and despite being index 1, her, her reported marks did not align with her academic performance uh, and distraught by the discrepancy, Prudence's parents decided to seek redress and the review yielded an increased score of 409. So recalling the initial disappointment, Prudence shared a reaction stating, I was devastated because those were not my true marks. So it's a lead that Prudence uh, had gone on an anger strike. He did not want to eat because the results which Nick had conveyed and her expectations were a bit different because her expectations bordered around the mark of 400. 
So he, he she expected that she would get 400 plus. But because Nick gave her 359, she realized that she was going to get a school which is not of her choice. So as a result, she ended up uh, feeling uh, pretty discouraged. So because her parents took the initiative of uh, following up on the matter, Nick realized that he had made a mistake and revised uh, the grades from 359 to 409. That is a 50 mark extra. So this is what we say has put William Ruto's government on a very, very precarious position here. Because now they are forced to correct an error. So the question is, why was there a rush to have these results re released? If I may take you back to the history of NEC, initially, NEC would release results after Christmas. And I believe the idea was to provide room for the verification of markings uh, during those days. And uh, if you're very keen, those days, room for errors were, uh, the percentage of errors were minimal. But what has happened now, and especially if you go by the what has happened in Kisi, you could comfortably say that NEC ilimak results zote kimakosa. So this mistake honestly has embarrassed Ruto government. That's what I can say, ladies and gentlemen. When you think about the latest move by NEC to make a U-turn on a result which it had released, out, could you say that the problem was data entry? What was the problem? Was the problem marking or data entry? Or could we say that the system is what was giving results uh, without taking into consideration uh, some issues? What could be the problem? So, ladies and gentlemen, for those people who are not subscribed to our channel, I'd like to kindly request you to subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. To those who have supported us by subscribing, liking, or sharing our videos, I want to say here that I'm forever grateful for that support because without you, this channel cannot grow. So, until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.